Once you have a tractor and driver entered in, you can go ahead and begin entering trips into the system. And I'll walk you through how to enter a basic trip into truck tax. So if you're on the dashboard, you'll want to go to fuel tax over on the left. And the first thing listed will be trips. So if I click on that, if I had other trips in here, they would be listed for me. I'm going to start by going to add trip since it's my first one. If you only have one tractor and one driver entered in, it's going to grab those for you by default. If you have multiple, there's a little drop down here where you could choose your different tractor and your different driver. Trip number is going to auto populate. The reasoning behind the format is so 1905, that first part means it's year 19, 2019, month number five, and this is the first trip, which is why it has a number one on there. If you want to type your own trip number in there, you can, but by default it will put that in there for you. So to put the, a trip in, you can either use zip code or city and state. Zip code will be the most accurate and I'll put one of each in. So I'll start with the zip code of where my trip is going to start from, which is Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and it'll automatically grab the city and state for you. The next thing will be the time, and that's going to default to today's time, assuming that you're doing this on real time. If you're going back and putting in like the month before, for example, you can always come in here and adjust the time. So I'll put this in for a previous month. And then over to the right where it says gallons, if you purchased fuel at that particular stop or origin or destination, you would type in the gallons. So I'll just type in, we'll say we got 112.41 gallons. And that cost him $342.76. So this started in Sioux Falls, and we're going to end it in Billings, Montana. And we'll say maybe I don't know the zip code. I can come to the city and simply type the name in and the state. And then I want to adjust my dates. And if I purchase fuel there, I would enter that in as well. And I'll just go ahead and hit save trip. And what that's going to do is it's going to add that to my list of trips. It's going to allow me to see the breakdown here. So I've got my trip number, tractor, um, it shows me all of my stops, so if I had additional stops in there, those would be showing as well. And it's going to show me the states that I traveled through, and my miles in each state, and any gallons of fuel that I purchased in that state as well. So if I click on Back to Trips, you'll see it's listed in my Trip Records list.